Are you looking for a 3D printer that isn't expensive, has everything you need and is also fast with Clipper pre-installed? Well, in this video, I'm going to do a review about the Creality Ender 3 V3 KA right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hey, Zach here. Welcome to this video. Yeah, the Creality Ender 3 V3 KA. It's the third version or third generation in the Creality series Ender 3. Well, I do need to say that I I didn't think that they would go on so long for Creality Ender 3, but hey, we are at version number 3 already. This 3D printer was sent by Creality to do videos about the printer, but also reviewing it as well. So uh, let's dive right in. So yeah, let's talk about the specs and the details about this 3D printer. This 3D printer has a printing volume of 220 times 220 times 240. It's a direct drive 3D printer with a dual gear extruder. It has a 60 watt heater cartridge, which helps you quite a lot with heating up quickly and also having the possibility because of the copper nozzle that is included in this 3D printer to print at higher temperatures up to 300 degrees C. The print speed of this 3D printer is 500 millimeters per second and the acceleration of 5000 millimeters per second. So in other words, you can print a Banshee in less than 16 minutes according to the Creality site. When building this 3D printer, it is a pre-installed 3D printer. The only thing that you need to do is putting the Z-axis gantry onto the base, you know, screw it in, connect some wires, and you're already basically done. This 3D printer comes with an auto bed leveling system, the CR Touch. But also, this 3D printer has also the smart function with the Z offset, meaning you don't need to do the offset every single time when you are leveling the bed. It is so much more pleasant. This 3D printer can print different kind of materials, PLA, ABS, PETG, TPU, 95A, that is an ASA. It comes with a PEI flexible build plate. When assembling this 3D printer, I did notice for the Z-axis gantry, you normally have 2040 aluminum extrusions, but if you are looking on the backside, where you also see the dual lead screw set up, which is nice. On the top, there's also a timing belt to synchronize the lead screws. That is awesome. But you also see a 2020 aluminum extrusion instead of the 2040. Creality has a different kind of approach in this, but it does look very nice. Also talking about the motion system, uh, for the X axis, they choose linear rails. For the Y axis, they use smooth rods. And for the tradition, the Z axis, the typical V slot roller approach. Well, 3D printing is nice with this 3D printer. I do need to say that this is working fine, but there are some things. In my honest opinion, I don't think that a printer should standard come with their specific kind of slicing software. In this case, we are talking about Creality Print. Further, this 3D printer needs to be added to Creality Cloud. What if users don't want to use Creality Print? Reading in the instruction that they need to make an account, register their 3D printer or binding their 3D printer, and then they are able to use it. If you are a brand new user and you don't care much about these kind of practices, then it's perfectly fine. But then on the other side, uh, having profiles for Cura, Prusa Slicer, and even maybe Orca Slicer, that would be a nice choice for a beginner user that buys this 3D printer in order to use this printer as well. So during the setup, I noticed that it was asking to bind with Creality Cloud. I really don't like that. There should be an option like, do you want to use this 3D printer with Creality Cloud? or just make it like that, that users can choose which kind of platform that they want to use. Not only Creality Cloud with Creality Print, but also have the possibility to go to Cura Slicer, 
Prusa slicer or Orca slicer and not pointing to the slicer that is using uh, the manufacturer. I don't think that that is the way to go. Nowadays, I see a lot of manufacturers rebranding Cura slicer or Prusa slicer in order to get their profiles in. Take the time and effort and put the profile on Cura slicer or in Prusa slicer or an Orca slicer. But further, the print quality, the print quality once set to the right slicer software. I did have Creality Print before. I did also make a lot of videos, but I constantly get terrible prints, prints with a lot of blobs on the sides, and it was not looking nice until I switched over to Cura slicer, which I also made a video about. And after that, I got some amazing print results. And it is fast, it is looking nice. I don't need to add anything else. Just let the model speak for themselves. Here are some examples from what I have printed on this 3D printer. So that are my thoughts and ideas about this 3D printer. What do you think about the Creality and the 3 v 3 ka Let me know in the comments. I will put also a link in the description of this video where you can buy the, this 3D printer. Some can be affiliate links to support this channel without you paying anything extra. If you want to buy this 3D printer somewhere else, feel free to do so. If you made it this far in this video, you are amazing. And you know, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and you know what? Check out this video right over here.